I'm evaluating my company's sales information for a report to management. Fortunately, Microsoft Office Visio 2007 Professional Edition has pivot diagrams, the visual equivalent of Excel's pivot table reports. Pivot diagrams are great for looking at groupings and subtotals of data so you can see the relationships. For example, this diagram shows how our two regions, Southwest and Northeast, are doing with retaining customers in each of three product categories, meat, produce, and seafood. Let me show you how I created this diagram and how I can use this diagram to see different views of this data. I'm creating this diagram from an Excel spreadsheet. This is the data that I'm going to show visually, making it easier to digest. In the Getting Started window, I click the Business folder and then click Pivot Diagram. I'll use U.S. units. The Data Selector wizard asks me to select a data source. In this case, I'm using data from an Excel workbook, so I select the relevant option and then click Next. I locate the data file I want to use and then click Finish. Visio imports the data and adds three shapes to the page, a legend about the data source, a title box, and the primary shape that contains the imported data set. This primary shape aggregates all the data in the data source. I want to see my data in various phases, so first I click the primary shape, and then, in the Pivot Diagram window in the Add Category area, I click the Pipeline Stage category. Each phase corresponds to a data category, just like with a pivot table report in Excel. And I can see all my sales information at a glance, from when a prospective client is first contacted to when a sale is closed. I can even see where we lost sales. Now, I will pivot my data to see a summary of our current sales by region and by product. I'm looking at the same data, but from a different angle. First, the pivot. I click the primary shape of my pivot diagram again. Then, in the Add Category area, I click Region, and then Product Category. Now, instead of focusing on the phases, I'm concentrating on the total sales for each category. If I want to refer to this diagram again in the future, I can refresh the data to reflect the changes in the underlying data sources. In the Pivot Diagram window, under Actions, I click the Refresh Data button. The data only updates in one direction, from the worksheet to the diagram, so edits to the Visio diagram do not affect the worksheet. And that's it! Visio helps me quickly establish and analyze the relationships in my data. Now, if I want, I can add a theme to my diagram to give it pizzazz, or use data graphics to help make certain types of data stand out.